Hey guys, welcome back to Reverse 1999. In today's video, I want to bring your attention to something that you might want to do over the next two days. It's actually a really good one to do. It's just that during this launch phase of a game, uh, when we're on like day two of the launch, you're still progressing through campaign. There's so much stuff going on and you can lose track, but when there is time limited stuff, you want to get that done so you can get the rewards that they bring. Now, I'm also going to give you a bit of a guide on what you want to be getting from one of the shops in here as well. But the thing that I am referring to is over here. Um, when you unlock it, I can't remember what stage exactly this might be a 210 or like a 3-4 or something like that. It's somewhere before the end of the third chapter that you unlock this. But for those that have played Star Rail or something, I think your uh, Forgotten Hall, Memory of Chaos type thing. But essentially what we have is... This is like the first part of it here that we can go into. You got different floors and you get different rewards uh, on each floor. Now, these rewards are one time. Don't stress about these ones. You can get these ones anytime. But the thing I want you to take note of is these rewards here, uh, which have two days left until reset. So you really want to push this as far as you can to get as many of these rewards because these are what you're going to be using in a shop to go ahead and get more t materials to help with your resonance on your characters, which is a very important important thing. So if you can get some of these done in the next two days, definitely do it. Like I said, after after this reset, you should be pretty safe um, because you got longer time. You'll be through the bulkier campaign pushing and stuff like that. But in these early days, you can easily forget these things. Um, but obviously, you can only push this as far as your account will let you, but definitely push it as far as you can. Um, if you haven't been in here, essentially what you do is you click into it. Uh, you're going to look for something that's glowing. At the moment, it's this thing behind my head. You can see that glowing. So you can basically click on on whatever's glowing it's going to take you through a bunch of dialogue and stuff and then once you're through the dialogue you'll eventually get into a battle uh, and then you'll win the battles that's essentially it now in each one you also have like i said those rewards to so make sure you get them they're really nice for your summon income if you're still trying to summon but we got 10 floors of it then we go on to another layer which we'll definitely cover in the future in other videos but that is that one but you want to be doing it right now because you've got two days left to get these now i want to talk about these and what you actually want to be purchasing from the or Dude, uh, uh, all right, all right, all is that the right word? Dude, a lot of the words in this game just got me stumped completely. Like, what is this? Somnambulism. Dude, that's tricky. But let's go over here. <laughs> the shop. So I have to give a massive, massive shout out to Gordon uh, on Discord. He's one of the moderators uh, in the official Discord. He's one of the guys that helps Pride win with all their information. Uh, I basically just said, dude, dude, like, I think I know, but what is the priority from this shop? Because uh, I wanted to make sure when I was letting you guys know what to actually purchase from the shop. Now, basically, the things you're going to look to, depending on your progression, uh, you know, if you haven't cleared three, I, uh, my account should well and truly clear floor three so I can get these as well. Uh, but basically, the things he put on the priority list is the 40% discounted uh, moment of dissonance, uh, then the 40% discounted brief. This thing, <laughs> this thing, I <laughs> did the names. Cacophony? Dude, I don't even know. But that thing, so those two at 40% discount. Then next on the list, he's actually put this one here, which is the crystal casket. Um, even though it's not discounted, but you do have to clear eight floors. So I'm assuming most people won't get there. Um, so that becomes the next one. Uh, and then the other one that he has put on on the on the list of priorities is the 40% discounted uh Nels. So that is what we're looking at for what you want to purchase. Like I said, because doing those missions, uh, each one of those missions that you do complete is going to give you 60 of those bad boys. You definitely want to complete those, but then you're also going to get some of these upgrade materials as well if you get far enough, which is also really nice. So you basically just have to go through, clear as much as you can, get those rewards, and then go exchange what you can at the shop, depending on how far you have progressed on your account. Now, I think what you're going to want to exchange as a priority between like the distance uh, and the brief, th these bad boys and and stuff like that is going to depend on where your account's at. So those are the uh, high value targets, uh, the, the three 40% discounts and the crystal, crystal caskets. But I think you can just play it based on those. They're all good value and you can choose which ones you want depending on where your account is at. Now, just a note from Gordon that he left me. I'm just going to read it out. Uh, once you clear Limbo consistently, i.e. you have built units, so once you're always clearing it, uh, the priority of moment of dissonance, so that's the top one, uh, lowers and the uh, lowers to the rest, and you can focus on the brief corner, these bad boys, <laughs> and the crystal caskets. 
So that's pretty much what he says. So early on, you're going to want a ton of these because you're going to be upgrading the early stages of your characters. Um, and then after that, you can switch it up. Now, if you're wondering what these are actually used for, that's for your resonate. So if we jump over here and we jump into our crew and we go over here and we go resonate, that is your quote unquote gear slots if you want. So those are going to be the materials that we're going to use to upgrade over here. As you can see, I've got a stack of them. I just got to go farm a few of these bad boys. Um, and then we should be pretty good. Now, I'll probably put this in more in a in like a, a beginner tips video. But if you're looking at like the best place to farm these things, uh, essentially with this one, um, like I could craft it in the wilderness. Uh, and I've got some warehouse insights in the casket. Now, this is a good one for me, in my opinion, to use from the casket. I'm not 100% certain on the top priority of these casket uses. But because the best, the best we have is possible and rare, it means these are pretty low drop chance, which means I think these are pretty decent to go ahead and pick up from the caskets that we have in the box. So like I can just go ahead and pick up one of them. You can see that's what I require. Boom, done. Got it. Uh, and then we can get go ahead and level up. Now, the other thing is, the other the other chances we have are common and fixed. So fixed, if you see something with fixed, uh, that means you know you're guaranteed to get it. Common means it's pretty common. Obviously, possible is the next one down, and then rare is the lowest. And then obviously, if it's not there, you can't get it from there. So if you're looking to get these things, I, I like if I don't see a, at least a common in the farming areas, those are the ones I prioritize on the casket at the moment. Like I said, I'm not sure if everything in this casket is the same. Um, you know, we can probably. Uh, no, I'm not going to go into it but that's the way i sort of prioritize that sort of usage of the caskets really nice that you can get to it straight from here uh, and then we can go ahead and level up our resonance now i don't know if i want to upgrade a knight yet uh because i kind of i've got a mission where i need to upgrade the others so i might just upgrade your resonate first give you one because that's going to give me oh wait that's sick i only need those materials that's sick all right let's go ahead and load ideas Quick load, thank you very much. But yeah, this is gonna give you a ton of stats and it's a really nice thing to do. So let's go over here. Like I said, this is kind of like your gearing system. So let's go ahead. Let's let's get our A Knight beefed up. If you haven't used A Knight, dude, I just love the guy. Even if he's not the top tier, he is such a cool unit and so fun to use, in my opinion. So there we go. There we go. We've got we've got our resonant to four. Uh, let's go load these ideas quickly. Okay, it's already it's already loaded. Let's see if it gives me a better quick load. Okay, who knows if that's better? I'll have to play with that, dude. I gotta get my Tetris skills back in check. Um, it's been a, it's been a while in Tetris. Uh, but if we go ahead and we go to level up on the next one, now we are gonna need those brief if cacophony ones so now what i'm gonna look to if i'll probably upgrade my other main characters first uh but i've probably got to work on balloon party as a healer because my yellow team's starting to struggle um but now i'm looking for those so we can go over here to the pawn shop that's not where we want to go to though we want the fragment shop the ori or, or that that shop you know what i mean so now i need these bad boys so now if that's what was my focus i would be focusing on purchasing these clearing floor three and purchasing these because that's what i need for the upgrade that i want whereas if I'm going to still be upgrading my other characters, I'd focus on getting some of these because that's going to give me the upgrades I need. So just basically shift between these depending on what you're trying to focus on. If you've got your three main characters and you're going for and you're going for the higher upgrades, go for that. If you're working on your second team, go for these. Just basically flex it around with where you're at. And then later on, the crystal caskets will become a priority. And same with the sonorous... <laughs> dude, dude, what, what is that? The sonorous... Canal. Now, dude, I can't, dude, I can't, I can't even with these words, dude. My vocabulary is not there, but hopefully that makes sense. Get in there, do it. We've got two days left. That's what you want to buy from the shop. That's what it's giving you. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.